Hi, I'm Craig and I'm this Jane. Is Jane. And today we're going to talk about um, your questions and answers and uh, you can send them in and we've got exactly two minutes to do the uh, answer to the question. So I'm going to put the timer on and today's question is from, uh, from Colin who says, should mediums or can mediums make a mediumistic um, connection from a photograph? I think what he's saying here is about when a medium takes a photograph out and says, this is your father, I'm connected. It's best to have the person face to face with you rather than showing a random photograph. Yeah, so, um, I mean, can it work like that? I mean, they say in mediumship that you mustn't use any tools. Like, they say, for example, if you're using psychometry, you hold the object, you read the object, but you're, and although you might pick up a lot of information about the person that's with you, um, that's not a mediumistic that's communication. A that's a vibration link. Yeah, because you're using a tool. And it's the same with a photo, isn't it? I'd have thought the same with a photograph. Yeah. Cause so, so do you think mediums should use photographs? I don't feel mediums should use photographs. They should actually have the person in front of them so they give a communication, a clear communication. Yeah, because it has to come from mentally, really, doesn't it? Absolutely. Because how, how can you possibly do it? from a photograph because if you, man, you look at a photograph you can tell one hell of a lot from a photograph can't you I mean you can tell the age of the person you can see all the qualities of the personality you can get a pretty good idea if that person has a physical resemblance of the person that you may be communicating with couldn't you? you can say this looks like your dad oh this is your dad you know he looks like a happy man well you to know? me that's just a general reading so it's a, it's, a, it's a cold reading isn't it yeah and yet they're all doing that yeah, but we've got um, a medium mystic is actually given evidential proof without anybody telling you anything. That's right, isn't it? <coughs> so how do you get it? How do you pick it up? I mean, you just get a name or you get a feeling? What, I mean, it well, works differently the, for both of us. Well, the person comes in front of me and I've had my link straight away and then I go straight into the person, describe the person, how they passed, anniversaries and names. Yeah, yeah, so it comes literally through the unconscious mind. Yes. Just, we just know it. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so hopefully we've answered that question for you. Hopefully that's us turn this bloody thing on. This way. Uh, <laughs> so hopefully we got the questions right there. That's, um, uh, that's it then, isn't it, really? Yeah. And so don't forget, you can send your questions to Jane and myself. Um, go to the website. You can, you can email us through the website if you've got a question and while you're at the website you can buy books you can get readings and um and a personal consultation with me if you're lucky indeed you can <laughs> with both of us in fact and <laughs> with our team of readers so go there have a look and see you next time and send us your questions ciao check out our website for more stuff you can book psychic readings with us and find out about our public events or watch our fantastic movie called Mystic Journey to India. It's a mind-boggling adventure that's now showing on Amazon Prime. And if you want to learn more, you can find out about my books and courses. Check out Messages from the Universe that reveals the ancient secrets of existence. 